everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Waramai First Nations people. It's W-O-R-I-M-I. And welcome to You, Your Guides. My guides are the universal energies. Uh, cloudy, sunny, cloudy, sunny day. So I've got the overhead lights on. So <laughs> the lights are messing up as it does, but we'll get there eventually. Okay, entertainment only. What I wanted to have a look at, it's uh, something that I caught my attention yesterday um, on the television, uh, on the... It's, uh, program called The Project in Australia. News in a bit of a lighter way, but they also delve into some very, very deep and dark uh, parts of society. So what I want to have a look at is uh, the rise of the uh, deep fake pornography and uh, what's going <laughs> what's what's happening, where's it going, etc. So uh, apparently there's a Nudify app that is freely available. Apparently it's been advertised on uh, YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and all those sorts of places where you basically just download the app, you take a face of anybody you like and you can stick it on a nude body and away you go. Now, Australia has now introduced some laws where there is uh, six years imprisonment for sharing a um, a nude photo without a, one of these deep fake nudes or even just a nude photo full stop of anybody uh, without their consent. Uh, and seven years uh, prison for those that actually produce these images. Oh, however, what has been recently shown um, is that uh, our East Safety Commissioner in Australia took uh, Twitter X, Elon Musk, uh, to court to uh, demand that uh, Twitter X, whatever you like to call it, take down graphic video footage of a stabbing in Australia. Um, now, what happened is uh, the footage was taken down within Australia, uh, but uh, our eSafety Commissioner has no authority overseas to have that footage removed. And what has happened is that the eSafety Commission has now dropped that case after the female commissioner uh, they realised they couldn't force enforce this worldwide, but also uh, the safety commissioner herself received uh, death threats and um, uh, just uh, really, really aggressive um, attacks towards her. I just, oh, man, it just, and you wonder where these death threats come from because who has something to gain about with this footage being shown? But anyhow, what has happened? So on the project, and I might actually link the YouTube uh, in my community page after I do this video. So just give me, a, you know, 10 minutes or so to do so after this video goes up. Um, really interesting um, segment. Now, it centred around a particular young lady called Noelle Martin. Uh, when she was 19, images first started appearing of her face being um, being put onto fake uh, fake bodies and circulated. And she has spent 10 years, including doing uh, TEDx talks, um, uh, um, bringing forward, just really bringing forward information about uh, how her life has been. Um, so lobbying, that was the word I was after, lobbying governments to tighten laws, etc. And she said every time she uh, goes public with her particular situation, a whole new swag of uh, images come out and videos come out that she has no control over because they are being produced overseas. So what I do love, the card that flew out is the judgment card, a collective awakening in regards to this powerful feminine energy, all strength to Noelle Martin. Absolutely. She's been trying to bring this to public attention and to government attention for 10 years now. All power to her and now there is a collective awakening in regards to this. So I'm using my runic tarot. It's a bit of a dark deck. I'll try and uh, hold up the cards or have the cards clearly visible to you. But I just want to see where this 
is is going. Um, I do understand dark web. I, well, I don't understand the dark web, but there is limited control over the dark web. But on public platforms, there should be some sort of, um, well, it got proven to be in, ineffective with um, with this e-commission case against uh, Twitter. But we are now getting powerful female movement forward in regards to this really powerful female movement forward in regards to this stealing, betrayal, lying, uh, seven of uh, swords, sneaking into camp, stealing people's identity. So there's, I get a feeling there's going to be outrage in regards to what's happening, entertainment only, and it only takes one person to bring it to the spotlight, which they have, uh, and it's now, I mean, I must admit I never really heard about this, but we've got new legal beginnings here to stop and protect, new protection New, new laws to try and stop this from occurring. But it's one thing to have it in Australia. How about international? Now, the, thing, the reason why Noelle Martin's come out is because it's not just images of her. They've put her name with it as well. So I haven't Googled her name. I have no interest in seeing fake AI uh nude photos of this young woman I have absolutely I'm not even going touching it uh, but apparently it's made life incredibly difficult for her uh, regarding to employment regarding uh, relationships and even um, some issues within her family but she has said that she has really really strong family and friends support behind her yeah it's a new beginning Absolutely. New beginning where there are barriers that need to be set up, powerful messaging that needs to be set up to literally flame what is going on and offer protection. Um, yeah, because these women, they're feeling isolated. Okay. So I'm not quite sure where I want to go with this, but let's see. Will Australians' new laws introduced, written into, into legislation, so it's not just uh, this is at a, at a federal level written into legislation, can't be overturned simply, uh, will these new laws have any effect? Now, the, Europe has really, really strong... Um, online laws as well. Uh, however, there are certain, uh, the US has their, unfortunately, their freedom of speech, which in all honesty is apparently meant to be freedom to not criticise the government, not freedom to do whatever you like, but it seems to have been misinterpreted over the years. But let's have a look. Will the Australian laws, show me, show me, with Noel Martin coming out and the Australian laws, what's coming? Okay, sorry about my big long rant at the beginning there. Um, Four of Pentacles, protection, but it's about, this is about protecting, holding on and protecting what is really important and setting fire to the rest, letting the rest burn. So it's very much about, and on this uh, shore here, bit hard to see but there are bodies washed up on the shore those that have been affected by this in the past if you see me brushing it's because I've got pet fur all over my uh, <laughs> yeah three three shedding pets but yeah this is about there are bodies washed up on the shore there are people who have had their lives destroyed by this but we've got this new uh legislation that has come out it's not um it's as, it's as powerful as it can be, but it is about protecting. So let's see where this goes. Five of Pentacles. The challenge is those that have been left to fend for themselves to try and get their own story across 
uh, Noelle Martin, I will say her name and I will take my hat off and I will open my heart as wide as it can go for her because she's for 10 years she has been cast out in the cold and trying to repair herself without any assistance. So this is the challenge. Um, what we've got here, the two of uh, two of Wands, this is about the new legislation. Uh, in it, I'm going to say in its infancy is what I'm being told. It will have to evolve. It is a plan uh, in the making. So this is, to me, this is very much about first step. It's not going to curb it, but it is first step. In the past, the Ten of Wands uh, bringing... Uh, a message out there that is setting the seeds towards the new beginning. So this is the legislation being passed. Crowning this reading, it's all about protection, the new beginning and protection and healing. But it's still, oh, let's see where this goes. So will it have an effect? I think it will, actually. Uh, this is a powerful new message put out there. Um, at least within Australia, but a powerful new message where they're putting up a new do not pass this line. Okay. A lot of headlines in regards to this externally, a lot of information coming out internally. Uh, it is about um, surrounding those that are most vulnerable with that four of four of wands. It is a victory. It is a small victory, but it's about surround uh, putting protection around. Um, we've got circles of support and celebration here. So this is a really positive step. Eight of swords, giving teeth to the legal system to restrict what's going on. Rise of the feminine. And but the page of Pentacles is about bringing forward this new protection. It is only a page. It's not a toothless tiger, but it's it doesn't protect from uh, overseas. It's only it's only going to be able to be enforceable within Australia, but. I think there's going to be some prosecutions here, some prosecutions for those that really couldn't give a rat's backside about human life, human dignity. They're just corrupt at their core and really couldn't care less. Um, yeah, there's going to be investigations into, into certain people who are doing this. Again, rise of the feminine. Uh, doesn't mean that there's, it's all men. It just means that it is this compassionate, um, caring, nurturing, healing power is rising up with the lover's card there, volatile message being brought forward about all that is good. So I'm really liking, I feel like crying with ending with this card. I do like what these cards are saying and it is about protection. The fight of good versus evil. So I do think that this is going to be a positive within Australia. We have uh, a crossroads moment where, where, again, two of pentacles, protection, security, stability, healing, where it's a gasp of breath, time to take a break, and then strength. All power to women. Now, I don't think, yeah, the wheel is turning. It is time. I don't, we've got barriers being set up for those that are feeling uh, that they, well, I'm going to say they're going, it's going to isolate the instigators and literally tower moment for them because we've got the court system here. Those that undertake this with the Seven of Pentacles, I mean, look at his face, couldn't care less about the truth, um, are in for a harsh truth. In for a harsh truth. Those that 
are abuse, uh, use, are abusing their power, deceiting, lying, betraying, are going to face this powerful judgment moment. Um, it's going to bring about an ending of this toxic. In Australia, as you've, we've got this defiance coming forth, I'm just going to put it out there, and I think within Australia, these laws are, have got teeth, and I do feel that there will be um, prosecutions to prove that they've got teeth. That, Okay, how's this going to go on a worldwide deal? So the news that's all getting uh, the headlines at the moment are Hollywood uh, heavyweights that have had their voice stolen, basically, I'm just going to say stolen, for um, false advertising, disinformation, etc. But this is really insidious, this um, nudie app stuff. So hopefully no one steals my image. <laughs> Good luck to them. Um, okay, let's have a look. That's That wasn't a challenge, by the way. Okay, let's have a look. So they're going to put it on a bobby. I hope it's a lumpy, bumpy, cellulite-ridden <laughs> whatever. Okay, let's have a look. Um, tech devil is on the bottom again. But investigation. I want to have a look how this ruling is going to affect internationally on an international level. Um, boundaries being set up, clear boundaries being set up. Okay. Challenged by, well, I'm going to say the good old boys club. Uh, can be women in there as well, but it's very much, if you have a look, figure sitting on the, the throne at the top there is very much emperor energy. Tis a difficult decision crossroads. Well, I wouldn't have said it's a difficult decision. It's a legal crossroads here at the moment. I'm just going to say a legal crossroads. At the moment, uh, in the past, res the restriction, it may be that this restriction here, the legal restriction may be those that are affected not having any legal avenues or it could simply be these new rulings that are coming out that are going to uh, do this new ruling that's come out that's going to restrict. I am talking internationally. Page of Cups, something unexpected coming forward uh, with skilled workers, um, Eight of Pentacles, skilled work going on behind the scenes in regards to creating this protection. Oh, I love this externally. The star of hope, the star of healing, the fight of good versus evil, and the fight of good versus evil internally. So it it's not resolved. It's going to be ongoing, but hopefully good will prevail. Then we have the judgment card, uh, female outrage, bringing this all out into the open, the outcome, hermit, isolation, introspect, introspect yeah, investigation, queen of swords, a powerful legal, uh, powerful legislation protecting women uh, that will force a retreat of this toxic masculinity and it is way past time because it is women that are overwhelmingly um, targeted by this and then we've got the page of wands the, def the bringing forth of the messaging and defiance on the base we've got the devil and the corruption with the five of cups but we have the eight of uh, wands, a lot of headlines coming forward, powerful female movement forward, harsh truth coming. Um, what have, would have got those that have left the fend for themselves? Are, uh, they're going to find protection. The, the what have we got? The three of swords. The 
betrayal, the, the heartbreak, the loss of those that are creating this as they find themselves in front of powerful courts and being closed down. Queen of Cups and then Tower Moment and then King of Cups. My DOJ energy and my Biden administration. So there may be legislation coming in the US in regards to this as well, which will be incredibly important. We have the casting out and the closing of the ranks to bring this to a significant end. Okay, the dark web or those that are behind the scenes are going to face some serious prosecution. Okay, I like those cards. Again, it's not going to happen overnight, but I suspect it will happen. Uh, a big step is going to be the US bringing legislation in in regards to this. But the genie is out of the bottle and it cannot be put back in regards to both uh, the deep fake. So there needs to be really powerful legislation and some serious prosecutions in regards to this. But the genie is also out of the bottle for the women speaking up about it. Uh, there is now come into our awareness, especially with the celebrity factor of AI, what it's capable of, uh, what it can actually do in the, and how it can affect people's lives. And the world is ready to listen to these women. So all power to them, all power to Noelle Martin. Love to you all. Take care.